coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Gregory, We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes at the 34. I think it was a great play call. And it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield. Inside the 30, the 10, and he's tackled at the 6. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. It's first and goal. Ball on the six. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Hollis fields it at the 18. He got hit hard. Hollis is a guy you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach. And we sat down with the coaches this week, and they know, they look at him, they look at that offensive line, and they know they're in for a long day. Well, it's going to be a tough challenge for this defense. One thing that they, I think, have to do is commit numbers to the line of scrimmage. They've got to be able to be willing to take chances, put an eighth, sometimes a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage and force his quarterback to try to have to beat them by throwing the ball through the air. Otherwise, it could be a long day for this defense. From their own 29-yard line, second down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's brought down in the open field. He's got it out to his tight end. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Makes the catch and look out, and he is drilled at the 47. Gibson with the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here they come, and he just gets rid of it.
quick out to his receiver. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Draw play, taken down in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Here's the eighth play of the series. for another third down and they've had no problem converting their first two. And he's taken down around the 30 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and From the 30-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Want it all here and does. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. the stop right around the 46 yard line he kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback quick strike to the receiver he's tackled around the 37 yard line man did he ever sell the run the defense took the bait and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch Seven yard line. It's first down. And he throws it away. four-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 
14-3. Hollis fields it for 17. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Tackle at the 29-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29. He flings it. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. So at the end of one, the Falcons lead 14-3. to the action now here in the second quarter. Go four. Go, run, run, run. Brought down around the 35-yard line. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Play action. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. him hard at the 24-yard line. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. his way to the 13-yard line. Got some open field. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First 
first down. So inside the five with a first and goal. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. So a four-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Weber gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Throw it in a hurry. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Hollis was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Knocked down. Incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and eight. Woods awaits the snap. Oh, he got nailed on that one. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Little screen pass. And down he goes at the 41 yard line. down immediately so they end up with a loss after calling the draw he started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw throws it in a hurry and he's tackled at the 40. that'll make it third and nine third down now and they need to get it down to the 31. Complete and taken down immediately. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. Finds 
his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nice eight play, 65 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And they can forget about returning this one. The Spartans know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Zips it to the back. If Martins call a timeout, that's their second of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. They'll bring him down at the 34. The Spartans using their third and last timeout. It has the distance, and it's wide left. No good. They'll head to the locker room in a game that's not even close. The Falcons lead 28-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I... Defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Really a lopsided ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Going deep. They knock it down. Incomplete. And he was looking deep on that play. Let me just say one thing. They are definitely not afraid to put the ball in the air. That time, they were lucky it wasn't intercepted. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush. And that time, it paid off with an incompletion. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they make the stop the 26-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Gibson is the deep man awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 38. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. They're ready to begin another drive. He 
fights forward to about the 40. Mission gains about two yards on the run. That makes it second and eight. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 30. lost a player earlier and Herbie this is a big blow to this team doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today he scrambled quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work he's tackled at the 11 yard line that makes it first and 10 From the 11 yard line. It's first down. Tackle at the one. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard gain. And this is the eighth play of the drive. the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 62-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Fires out to his wideout, and he's hit immediately. yard line they just kind of spun their wheels here but credit to defense with not giving up any ground Gregory back to return it and this one is a beauty 
They'll bring him down at the 26. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. He makes his way to about the 48. Makes it out to about the 33. From the 33 yard line, first down. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Fires out to his receiver. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Quick throw. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He rifles it to the left. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. And it looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. The Falcons are up big. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully, the fourth quarter will turn things around. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 11 yard line. Harper on the tackle at the 11 yard line. That brings him second and five. From the 11 yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. 
And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open. And I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Makes it to the 34. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he gets a yard on the run. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught out in the open. And he tackles him hard at the 21. First and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. That's a great tackle at the 20. That's a game and two on the That'll bring up third and eight. And here's another third down. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. And he's taken down around the three yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. in another touchdown well another score here late in the fourth quarter but all it does is add to the blowout this one's over and he adds the extra point they line up to kick this one away he just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time. And Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, the Falcons, 49, the Spartans, 10. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.